Kyle Alsop, senior, mechanical engineering, Kansas State University. Sheldon Rogge, senior, Kansas State University, wildlife and outdoor enterprise management. You no, know, it's been pretty slow. Um, we caught a few fish, you know, several fish. Um, we thought we were going to be able to pull up here and whack them right away, but we caught a couple big ones here in practice. But we know it's only, only going to get better as the day goes on. So it's just all timing on this ledge bite. Get our timing right, it can get in fish. Yeah. Big one? Doesn't feel like it, but it might call. Cool. Cool. Definitely cool. Uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Good, good. <laughs> I told that you that long net. Was in the <laughs> you want to board him, Sheldon? I don't. I don't know if he'll be close or not. Stay on that trolling motor. Sheldon pulled up here in practice and caught a giant on a deep crankbait. And so I said, okay, you know, I'll run over and graph it. Cause he just popped up and started fishing it, you know, it looked good. And uh, so I came over and graphed it later that day. And I, I saw some fish and I, I uh, cat, made a few casts and I had three pretty good bites. Um, you know, I just let them swim. There's so many people around. It's kind of the name of the game down here. You don't want to show your hand before the tournament starts. So we were, uh, we know there's some good ones down there, but we were, weren't really sure what to expect or whether uh, we we're gonna have a bunch of big ones or not. When we found it in practice, we got kind of fortunate and we thought we might have it to ourselves because it's just, just an underwater point that doesn't, on a map, it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot more down, down there to it than, than what meets the eye. Even with all the good mapping systems down there, it's still, Hard to tell every contour and shell bed and everything that's down there, especially on this lake because they're everywhere. So we're hoping having it to ourselves is gonna gonna pay pay off in the long run, especially in a tournament like this. Finding a spot to yourself is is key, not sitting in a crowd and fishing. And we found other schools that you know we may have to go and hit today, but uh, that we're hoping that that we can really just grind it out on two or three primary spots and catch a couple, couple more big ones to go with the one we have. The magic. Good? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Another brown fish. Oh, cool. Choke it too. You want to cut it? It's bleeding. Yeah, give me some scissors. No, 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 no. You're not going to cut it? Have to lead it. And cut it to hook. Get down there. Don't put a cold tag on. Yeah. Get the hog out. Better double check him on the board too. He's over all day. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Pink was the one to go, right? Yep. The little guy. Feels good. I mean, we just gotta keep grinding. We gotta fish clean the rest of the day. If we keep if we fish clean. If we fish clean. I like our chances. Kansas State University, Kyle and Sheldon got him a five fish limit.
Glad y'all are here. Got all the contingencies going. Good solid bag of fish here today at 1461. 1461. What is the largest sack of fish you've weighed in in a tournament? Oh, 24. 24. Those are great days. You can always remember them. Oh, absolutely. Never forget them. Okay. How long y'all been fishing together? Uh, Kyle and I've been fishing together for about four years now. So. Y'all fish a lot of stuff at home when there's not off on the road? Yeah, we do, and this is the third college tournament Kyle and I fish together. We fished this tournament two years ago. Okay, good deal. 